It's too early. It's like two o'clock. Uh, uh. Yo, what up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today is a really dope day because we got more car parts for the EK. Um, so yeah, let me let me show you what I got, and it's something that I measured in the SI just to make sure I fit. So yeah, let's let's get today started. <laughs> My race seat came in. So what we'll be doing today is taking this apart and installing it in the car today. So let's get the unboxing started. All right, so first things first, I did get the Corbo uh, mounts as well as the double locking slider upgrade right here. So then we can mount this up onto the car itself. So what you guys are seeing is the Corbo Forza Sport FIA approved racing seat and I got this seat in black so I like the seat because it is a little bit bigger and it is a five point uh, seat so as you can see right here this is at five points one two three four and five and then right now I'm gonna be running it with a stock seat belt just because I don't have harnesses yet or a harness bar or a roll cage I kind of want to go with a roll cage first but if not, harness bar will work. But yeah, here's the seat. It is FIA approved. And let me tell you guys, it's so nice. This is probably the cheapest FIA approved seat that you can get next to the, I believe the Sparco Sprints, but those run a little bit too narrow for me. Um, so yeah, let's try this out. Oh. oh yeah. Yep, this is perfect guys. Like, keeps me in place. Oh man, I'm so ready for the track. But yeah, this is the Corbo Forza Sprint seat. So let's get into the install on the vehicle. Oh. Now that we got that installed, it's time to go to the car. Now it's time to remove the stock seat. As you can see right here, it's held on by only a few bolts. One right there, 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 and there, the other side. So yeah, let's get sticking it out. Right, guys now before you even remove the seat and just yank it out make sure you guys pull out the seat belt connection so that it tells the car if you have your seat belt on or not make sure you guys pull that cord out in the bottom of the car and it is this cord right here i don't know if you can see that but it's that cord and then there's a white connect there's a white uh cord connected to it oh, wow look i found a water bottle but yeah there's a cord right there you just disconnect that and then you are good to go for the most part you just take this out too right there it's that cord then you can take out the seat you might want more room for this um i always try to pick the tightest spots to like take my car parts out but you know it is what it is Ugh. okay now that we got this out what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the stock seat belt because i will be using the stock seat belt on my Race seat for now until I get harnesses. This. All right, this stubborn part wasn't coming off, so I just cut it off with a knife. And so now we take up the stock seat belt. Okay, and now we got the seat belt. Let's go mount it up to the Corbo seat. That's 
where your seatbelt's gonna go. Bring this down. And then let's go to the car. First, we're gonna vacuum this because it's really dirty in there. All right, now it's time to bolt this up and make sure that we're secure. So yeah, guys, here's the seat. This is the Corbo Forza Sport, like I said, in the black colorway. Um, this is their FIA approved seat. That's the most budget that you can get. And I highly recommend it because I used to have NRG seats and the brackets itself weren't staying in place. The seat felt flimsy, but this one, Feels good, feels sturdy. It's not moving around. Like I'm literally shaking the car as I move around rather than just the seat. Um, as you can see here, still use the sock seat belt and you can just clip it in like that. And the seat is like perfect. As you can see right here, the harness holes is in line with my shoulders and my traps, which is perfect because you don't want harnesses that will droop down if you're too low or slant up if you're too high. Cause that's gonna be like, that's really not um, practical basically. And, yeah, I sit in this seat like really perfectly. I am five foot six. I'm 175 pounds. I'm a little bit more on like the bulkier side in terms of, you know, lifting weights. If you are a bigger, hefty guy like me, well, I'm not really hefty, but you know what I mean? If you're a little bit bigger, uh, I am a size 32, 33 slash 34 waist. Um, I vary honestly, but I'm more in like the 33 range. You want this seat because it is gonna be a little bit roomier for your hips and your thighs. If you have bigger thighs or bigger hips, you're gonna want the seat because I know some of the Sparco sprints, I've asked, I know they have a X, uh, like a size large now, and I've asked a person who bought the regular one and it's just a little too tight, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta have a little bit of width and this is like a perfect seat. It keeps the steering wheel like at a good distance from my chest to the steering wheel because I don't wanna be driving like this, you know? I wanna be driving with like a little slight bend on my arm and you know, I can go to like first, second, third, fourth, yeah, this is like a really good seat, a really affordable seat, and a safe seat as well because safety is my number one concern when it comes to um, going on a track and just being safe. You don't want to like half-ass things or buy things that aren't like FIA approved or things that haven't been tested for the safety of you as well as your passenger if you have a passenger on the track. So, with that being said, hope you guys liked today's video. I have a lot of the parts already in. I'm just waiting to install them. Um, so yeah, keep on the lookout for that. Sorry this video is a little bit short, but I tried to do my best to give you guys content and yeah, this is like one step closer for me to get on the track because honestly, after I get the D16Y8, like the oil leak fix, I'm literally gonna sign up for my first track day autocross event and I'm just gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna send it, bro. Okay. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you guys like the content for the EK. If not, I'm sorry, but it will be Project EK for a little bit. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to keep up with me and more of my content. And until next time, I'll catch you guys very, very, very soon. And remember, build humbly.